Oh, nice cup of tea. And I feel much better, Churchill, don't you? Let's go. Head back to the uh, the Swan and Mitre and see what good old Gaunt has to say. Happy Harry. Good grief. What? Oh, here we are again. Good grief. Well, boys, consider it done. My God, you all look so happy. Okay. Joe Winston, hello. You beautiful bastard. You did it. Look at this score. Well, thank you. I knew you'd come through. God may have doubted you, but I knew. I could tell you were the type of shit-kicking outlaw that could roll into town and take control of the situation. <laughs> How was it? Did you throw anyone off the train? God, I wish I could have been there. Um. Well, I mean... I... Uh, uh... Yeah, it was, I mean, it, I would probably sound quite strange saying the name's fairer, way fairer. So, I'm, yeah, it was a hell of a ride. I'm just glad I made it out I'm in one piece. Like I'm... Sounds exhilarating. You'll have to spill the details over a vodka martini sometime. It must have been such a thrill. I can only imagine. Mm. Anyway, thanks a million for pulling this off. You have no idea how helpful these supplies will be. I'll be able to start up a makeshift hospital for our injured. Oh, good. Sign someone to be a full-time chef. Get people repairing clothing. This stuff's a complete game changer. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Well done, mate. No doubt these supplies will help us out for the time being. Oh, here it However, is. However, you didn't disrupt the supply line between the dogs and Westminster like I asked. Another train full of supplies will leave Poplar Station tomorrow like nothing ever happened. If disrupting the supply line was that important to you, why didn't you just come right out and say so from the beginning? What are you not telling us? Yeah. When I need you to know something, you'll know it. Until then, don't even think about questioning me or my motives. Besides, you should be thanking me. You got your shipment of toys to play with because I gave the bloody order. Seems to me like you've got a lot of work to do. Better get to it. Yeah, well, fair play, I suppose. There's a lot to do. And the sooner I get to it, the better off we'll be to execute whatever cryptic plan you're running. Thanks again, Wayfarer. Yeah, take this for your trouble. Patch yourself up. Well, thanks. Look where you're going. Come back in a few days. I need some time to think. You know, gone. If I'd have blown the train up, we couldn't wouldn't have got the supplies, and things would have been, you know, as bad as they have been. You just don't like the fact that it was me that did it. So, oh, look at this. Everything's getting fixed up. My goodness. Wow. Hey. Well, isn't this... Okay, one of the pictures is a little a little off cack, but that's fine. Um. Well. Didn't we... Um, didn't we do well, Churchill? My goodness. Everything's looking up now. I mean... There shouldn't really be gin cocktail in the toilet, but, well, I suppose it's, you know, it's trying times for all. All right. Well, maybe we should go and find the boy. I know that's on our list of things to do. We need to find more books as well. Um, Rotherhithe, yes, that's where we need to go. Rotherhithe. Maybe, maybe I offload some more items before we go wandering off to Rotherhithe. Hello. Oh. Here are you. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna stash some more. How is it? How is it stealing when it's my stuff? Oh. Well, can I not... Well... Do you know what? Can I put things in there? It doesn't matter. If I want them, I can steal them back. It's fine. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Well, that's good. Um, let me just have a little peep here. Because I don't appear to be wearing anything on my right arm to protect it, which is not good, but, well, there you are. There was also... I just happened to notice we didn't listen to the last words from HMS Dredge Prisoners number three. So I'm going to have a listen. 
while we wander around. Speak into the Yeah, yeah. I understand. This is to my family. Yeah. Seems my time has come. It's dark here. And the air is heavy. I can't go on much longer. Nor will they let me. To my wife. I'm sorry for leaving you alone. You deserve better. <sighs> mm. Take care of our daughter. And tell her I love her more than anything. I hope one day you both find peace. Goodbye. <sighs> this ain't ever easy. Oh. So that was like a nice guard, do you suppose? Maybe. Okay, this is, this well, is getting probably shot a little down, bit risky now. Anything? Come on then, Churchill, let's um Let's go and find Archie. I think his name was Archie, wasn't it? Go and find Archie and just see what what he has to say. This is quite the outfit, my goodness. Okay. Blind Nelson. Hello. Um Well folks. You're doing a very good job of fixing the place up. It's looking great. Maybe, um... If I had it my way, you wouldn't dare show your face here. Me? What did I do? Tell you what I did. Nothing. All right, I'm going. Well, Churchill, we need to go and find Archie. So, he's this way somewhere? Hmm... Well, we'll just have to be careful. There's one of them horses again. Ah, oh, very interesting. Ah, yes, this was where we found the spy, wasn't it? Yes. Well, not the spy, but the, um... Oh, that's a rabid fox. Okay. So he's over here somewhere. Hmm. I believe we have learnt something. Yes, we have. Let's have a look. Hmm. Sneering imperialist. There's vats. I don't really tend to use vats much. Maybe we could use some more agility. That might that might help us out a little. Make us a little bit more sneaky as well, possibly. Hmm. Possibly, possibly, possibly. Bloody mess. Oh, God. Lovely. Um, the mysterious stranger, yes. I don't know if I'd like that. That might be a little bit strange. Um, yes, I think I'm going to increase my agility ever slightly. Just for a little more agile. Hmm. All right, Churchill, let's go and find Archie. Have a little wander around. Good old Londinius. Hmm. Green Greenwich Park. Yes, didn't we come through here? Are any of these houses open? They look... What? Oh. Okay, why? Stupid fox. Uh, excuse me. Oh, really? God bless it. Foxes, what's the deal? Churchill, just, just, it's all right. Church. Oh, two ball. No, thank you. All right. What did you find, Churchill? Is it that box there that I was going to have a look at? Stim pack and a blood pack. Yes, Churchill, I know. Are you all right? Good grief. All right. Well, I'm just going to switch to my handy dandy. Officer's truncheon. Pity we can't take any of these cars, eh, Churchill? Hmm. Shame. Great shame. Are any of these other houses open? No. All boarded up. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. But never mind. Imagine this street once in hustle and bustle. And now it's just, it's just a mess. Just an absolute disaster, full of dryads, dryads, I don't even know how you would say the name. 
Good lord. What's this? Oh, Distraction Avenue. What? Hello? Oh, I saw you. Or I heard you more like. Take all of that, thank you. Ugh. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, Churchill, come on. Churchill, we, 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 we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave, we're just gonna walk away. Churchill! It can have the building. It can just have the building. I don't want to get involved. Not, 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 not at all interest interested. Okay, it's a pair of legs. Um... What? More of these bloody dryads, dryads, whatever they're called. Churchill, be careful. Ow! God bless it! Give me that ticket. Everything, everything, everything just wants to kill us, Churchill. So he's... he's... How far away is this kid? I mean, he's he's a kid. Surely he can't have gotten too far. Let's have a look on the map here. Okay, yeah, he can have gotten far. Right near Thameshaven. Rotherhithe. Oh, and the Fesco we found. And the Prilla Dog Food Factory. Where I found you, Churchill. Well, okay. I, um... I guess we've got some walking to do. Which will do you some good, Churchill, I imagine. And me. Who doesn't like a walk? After all. What, 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 what? I heard gunfire. Is this where the soldier was? Where he was stood? Can't remember his name now. What a nice chap. Anyway. Let us continue. Hello. Churchill, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Did you find something? You found a cooler with some hypo in it. Well, that's nice. Um, hello, Tommy Conscript. What is, what are the Tommies? Oh, look, Churchill. Looks a little bit like you, kind of. Well, maybe. Hot on the trail of the most wanted dog food with the flavour reward. Okay, wasn't there... I might take a little peep in here. Just, um, you know. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Prilla Dog Chum Factory. Okay. What, what, what? What? What's going on here? I'm going to just put my weapon away, because... Churchill, we need to be cautious. What's this? Dog food? Okay, um, Charo. Can I ring the bell? Okay. Welcome, Hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, oh, okay, you're just selling oh, things. Well. Okay, um. Oh, what's going on here? I can hear a lot of shouting. Is it through here? Hello? Hello? I can hear a lot of shouting. Dansky. Is it? Well, we, we can, we can, what, is it upstairs? I hope it's nothing awful. Doc. Um, do you know where the shouting's coming from, sir? I'm kind of curious. It must be through here then. this room okay um id card reader i mean that does just say take yeah why not i don't really want the spanner i will take the tickets though um what's the shouting is it through here hello i is it over there come along churchill I don't know what's going on here, my friend, but... Oh, that's a lot of blood. Why is the blood? Um... Hello? 
damn. Hmm. Um. Tickets. Yeah. Tickets again. Is it down here? No. What in the world? Where is this shouting coming from? Um. Through here. Investigate the shouting. What? We demand machine maintenance. No more weekly amputations. Oh God! We demand time off. At least one day a week. We demand fair wages. Two, no, three tickets an hour. And 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 other stuff too. We demand to be treated like real people. Well, we're not just Mr. Handy's mindlessly stuffing tins of chum. We're flesh and blood and irradiated spirits stuffing tins of chum. But we're still real people with real needs. Like bathroom breaks. We demand those too. Oh god. If we don't get them, we'll strike. Oh dear. We'll throw down our tools and stuff tins no more. Fair treatment for fair work. Okay. Fair treatment for fair work. Well. So I'm guessing he's the he's the he's the overseer. Come along, Churchill. That was um interesting. So Harvin Quinney. Hello. You. You don't work for me. No. What are you doing on my factory floor? Um <sighs> I heard a commotion. So you're the type to stick their nose in other people's business, huh? Mm-hmm. You could be just what I've been looking for. Oh! Speak to me in my office. I have a business proposal for you. Oh, okay. What do you think, Churchill? I wonder if he'll give us any free samples for you. This is a dog food factory, after all, is it not? Well, um... Wolfie. Hello! What an interesting spot. Dog food. Liver. Gravy. I mean, how much do these weigh? Could I take these? Some free samples for you, Churchill. Although I don't actually know how to give you this food. You don't seem to be um, much interested in it. What's, is this his office? I might as well just get... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh terminal. Okay. What's what's this? Hmm. Reports. Paid vacation leave. Data not found. Deleted by management. Fair enough. Health oh. Health and safety regulations. Data not found. Deleted by management. I'm sensing a pattern here. Safety reports. Yep. Same again. And finally, supply log. Brahman beef imports depletion. Uh, okay, so supply log, full report. Import shipment of Brahman beef from the farms of Camelot. Received and logged into inventory. Note. Noted a significant decrease in Brahman beef reserves, consumption rates surpassing projections, alarmingly low levels of Brahman beef remaining in stock, imminent depletion expected within the next 24 hours. Note, urgent action required to source alternative protein sources to avoid disruption in chum production, requesting expedited delivery of alternative ingredients to maintain uninterrupted operations. What's the alternative? I don't think I want to know, actually. Urgent meeting Tommy quota directive. What's this? Okay. Attention all workers, we are failing miserably to meet the Tommy quota for this month. The gentry overseers are breathing down our necks, demanding immediate results. Effective immediately, all workers are to toil relentlessly, forsaking the rest until the quota is met. 
Failure is not an option. Let the machinery roar and the cans be filled without pause. So, it's dog food that people are eating? Okay, Brahmin beef shortage. To the workers, in light of the abysmal scarcity of the Brahmin beef, we find ourselves plummeting into the need of a replacement in order to continue our Prilla dog chum operations. You may feel that desperation grips us as we seek alternative ingredients, but this is not the case. We have found alternatives in order to prevent the factory from grinding to a halt, get back to work, or face dire consequences. Okay, so this is not a good place to work. Uh, demanding ingredient trials. Hear this research team. With our backs against the wall, we demand that you commence trials on the proposed substitute ingredients immediately. Failure to expedite this will process will result in severe punishment. We will not tolerate any delay in the discovery of an acceptable replacement. Our very survival hangs in the balance. Hmm. Why do I have a horrible feeling I know where this is going to go? Ingredient success report. Okay. Acceptable news. After much grumbling and dissatisfaction, we have managed to find a marginally tolerable replacement for Brahmin beef in our Prilodog chum. Do not celebrate. This is a mere reprieve. Continue production at all costs. Our existence will not be a fleeting shadow. Imperative payment deadline reminder. Okay, message. Last warning, today marks the final opportunity to meet the Tommy quota and avoid the wrath of our gentry overlords. By some miracle, we have scraped by this month, but the guillotine of punishment still looms overhead. Celebrate not, for our toil shall only intensify as we march into the abyss of another month. Good grief, how depressing. Yes, I, I have a rather horrible feeling I know where this is going to go, um, Churchill, and I don't... I don't think it's going to be a good time for anyone, to be quite frank. Brain fungus, thank you. No, I don't at all. I, I just can see it being something awful. What's in here? Okay. Or are they... Never mind. Let's go and speak to him in his office. We were supposed to be finding the boy, but now I'm somewhat curious as to what is happening here. Because this is disturbing, is it not? Management. Here we are. Restricted area. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Harvin. What is occurring? Good. I thought you were a smart one. That's why I want to offer you a job. Oh. Um, why on earth would I want to work here? Work here? Definitely not. You're not Prilladog material. Oh, good. This job concerns Alan Calloway, the ne'er-do-well you heard earlier. Mm -hmm. He needs to be dealt with. He's bad for morale, not to mention my profits. But I can't touch him. His following among the rabble grows daily. He seems to have it out for me, personally. He verbally attacks me at every turn, and I've been at my wit's end all month. No idea what to do. And then, who but an avenging angel graced my doorstep? What say you? Will you return this factory to peace? Um. Isn't there a peaceful way to do this? I've tried the peaceful approach. I bought him off. He just pocketed the tickets and kept on going. He's more money hungry than I am. Well. Hmm. Promote him. But tie his salary to sales goals. That's a good plan. That's brilliant. He'll change his tune in a heartbeat. I won't even have to pay him more than I already do if I make it regional sales goals. I can just give him the absolute worst regions. And no one would take his complaint seriously if I'm working with him. Bless you. I'm the hero, and he's the villain now. <laughs> Follow me. You won't want to miss this show. Not exactly 
a good ending, but you know what? At least he's still alive. I'm taking your tickets, by the way, just just so you know. What else have you got in here? Anything of any use? Oh, yeah, more tickets. I, well, I fear he wanted me to, to murder the man, and I'm not going to do it. Oh. I am going to bust into his safe, though. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. My, my purse is a little heavier. Right. Let's hear it then. It's rather concerning that all your barrels are kind of glowing a little bit. Oh, hello. Another terminal. Hmm. Well. Oh. Okay. Yes. I say he'll at least he'll be alive and not um Murdered for his troubles with grief. Oh, weapons workbench. Cornelius. I mean, he, he's eating his dinner. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disturb him if I were you. You know. Harvey, ah. what do you want now? Why, I've got good news for you, and I wanted everyone to hear this announcement. What are you up to, Harvin? I'm promoting you to regional manager. You now have the full authority to make changes that would affect regional sales. After all, you're receiving a share of the profits now. Your salary is now tied to our sales goals. No, you can't. You'll be in charge of regional sales in Bromley. But they're landlocked. Once you prove you can handle that responsibility, we'll look to add more territories. Oh, and don't forget, your pay's tied to sales goals. And we're a tad behind on those this quarter. You heard, Arvin. We need to meet those goals. That means ramping up the conveyor belt speed. Well. Like I say. Not a great ending, but... At least he's alive. Okay. I can't thank you enough for that stroke of brilliance. Mm. I've doubled my profits off his lazy ass. That creativity deserves a reward. And a bonus. Stop by any time. Well... I don't feel great about it. I'm not going to lie, but, well... Like I say, he's alive. That's the main concern. Churchill, we need to get out of this wretched hole. Good grief. Is it over here? Ah, yes, through here. Well, it's, um, take that. It's been, um, it's been awful, let's be real. It's been dreadful, but, well, I suppose it, it is what it is. Now, I did pick up an access card for this, did I not? No. Chum factory key. Hmm. -hmm. But I had a basement key, did I not? Is this a way? Ah. Ha 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 ha, here we go. Table knife. Um no, I don't don't think so. Let's Let's have a look, shall we, Churchill? What's down here? Going up. Oh, going up. Okay. Hmm. All right, Churchill, this seems a little dodgy. Um Hello? Mystery meat. Mystery meat, okay. Mystery meat. I, I, well. Do 
you know what? Can we can we do this? Regulates. Minus two. Hmm. Defenders. Yes. Defenders, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Production. Okay. Uh, 19 Brahmin processed into beef chum. 24 chickens processed into chicken chum. 9 cats processed into cat chum. Oh, God. 7 Brahmin processed into gravy chum. Inventory update. Nine, 59 tins plus assorted chum varieties. So that's the output summary. Error. Malfunction detected in production unit. Requesting replacement parts. Facility output data corrupt. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Production. New parameter. Hmm. Four Brahman processed. Yes. Cats. Brahman. Fourteen Thames folk processed into mystery meat? Three scavengers? Oh my god, I knew it was going to be something like this. Okay, and management just don't give a damn whether the whether the machine's broken or not. New ingredient parameters. Thames folk mystery meat. Oh my god. Human mystery meat. I knew it was going to go down this route. Oh, a decent tin can is required as it is the best process to preserve food by sealing it in an air airtight container. So it's got Thames folk and humans in it? Oh god, I don't want to eat it now. I don't want Churchill to eat it. Look at this. <gasps> oh my god, Churchill. This is a disgrace. I feel like we should... Oh my god! I feel like we should blow the lid off this thing. Oh! Mystery meat. Oh god! Is there anything we can do? Oh my... I think we should just... Oh. Oh, I don't feel good about it, Churchill. Let's get out of here quick. Do you know what? All I wanted to do was go and find the kid. That was all I wanted. And yet here we are. Discovering that... Oh, bleak. People. People. Thames folk. Good God. <sighs> okay. Well, I've not got far to go to find the kid. And do you know what? The further away we get from this place, the better, in my opinion. Good grief. Ugh. But... Okay. I mean, Churchill. People. People meat. In the dog food. I don't even think you would eat that, would you? Well, I would hope you wouldn't. Oh, okay. Oh, God. A caravan guard? What? What the hell? Mongrel dog meat. Uh, hello. I've been hoofing it on them streets for miles. And let me tell you, the door shake worth a bleeding bob. Well. Okay. Um. That's that's great. Thank you for your help with those 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 dogs. So can we get across here? Is this a bridge? Um. It is not. Oh! Churchill. Come on. Let's continue. Good grief. Ooh. I, I, can I tell the Thames folk what's going on? Can I tell somebody what's going on? Is there a... There isn't really a... A police force, is there either? Um, Churchill found an enemy. Who? Where? What are you, what are you, what are you doing, Churchill? Come on. Okay. 
What? Oh! Oh! What? Bloody thing. Yes. Well done, Churchill. Took its head clean off. All right. Well, there's the Fesco, I think. There you go, Fesco. So we're not far at all. We cross here. Come along. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at our map. Yes, right up ahead. Right up ahead. All we have to do is get there, Churchill. Good grief. Ugh. I feel like we should maybe tell somebody about what's going on, you know, Churchill. Because it's not right. The putting... The bodies of, of Thames folk and of human people into food and feeding it to other human people. Okay. Um, and that is very wrong. Um, hmm. I think we'll have to go up this way. It isn't right, is it? I'm not being ridiculous, I don't think. Hmm, well, maybe. Oh! Okay. Oh! There we are. Aha! Through here, maybe? Good God, it's just a series of... Oh! Oh my God, yeah. what the hell? Okay, it's... it's. Oh, okay, I fell. Oops. All right. All right. It's a Lego. Hmm. Don't think we're going to be able to do much with a Lego. Churchill, um... Can we... Could we go in here? No. Well, that's... That's, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? I, well, uh, early. The gross looking thing. Um, do we have anything a little bit more? Maybe. Legendary Mitten Lurk. Ooh. Now it's mutated, really? Hmm. Okay, one more shot should do it. Cha Ching. Okay. I'm just going to, um. Yep. Okay. Where. Oh my god, okay. Sharp hooligan left arm. Well, take. And some meat. Well. Not exactly what I wanted, but. Can we find the boy here, is the question. In fact, where's that arm? Let's put that on. Aha. Perfect. Over this way, maybe? Um, do you suppose? Well. Oh! How did the... How did the mitten lurk get up there? Best not to ask those questions. The crashed plane. Hello? Okay. Okay. All right. Ah. 
Pity you can't get any meat from these. They look like they would have a lot of meat on them, but never mind. Where's the boy? He must be up here somewhere. Okay, this is a little ramshackle. Oh! Well, hello. I mean... Could you have at least helped me? 